Patrick Madrona. I'm Katie Anderson. I loved all the submissions. I thought they were all um, great ideas that I could see being brought to life as pinatas, so I'm super excited to see them come to life. I have two favorites, so I won't say which ones, but yeah. I was surprised that there were so many. You know, I, don't, I think it's a mixture of things. There were some political pieces. There were a few political pieces that we kind of shadow. I don't know, I can't, maybe I shouldn't say that <laughs> for the judges. Um, there were a, a couple of political pieces. There were a lot of pieces that were, you know, typical things, but in, you know, larger, which were, which were cool. Um, but I didn't feel like there was any sort of theme that went through the participants. At least I hadn't found it yet. You know, you, you never know when you get in front of them. It's a different story. So. Yeah, I wouldn't say that there was, there was a Trump one, and I'll say, you know, I can't, I can't say it because he's going to, yeah, I don't know, see, I don't know. It's so good, it, you can, you can explain. No, you can't say it because, yeah, I just didn't want to, uh, I didn't, I don't think that that was. All the, all the participants, there was only a couple, like you said, it was, they were, they were heartfelt pieces and very sweet and, um, you yeah. know, kind of going to the heart of things. and. That's that's what I liked about most of the submissions that they were um, they were tenderly thought out and they were uh, things that you'd want to see big scale. I think what the United States is going through right now is pretty ugly. It's real ugly and it's disheartening and it's all. I'm trying to say in a pinata. It's all pinata. it's all very de <laughs> everything's very divisive. <laughs> These felt the opposite oh, yeah. of what's going on. Yeah. The coming together of things and cultures and ideas and right, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that they more represent that than what's actually what most people are feeling would, about. Would think what's would going be that's what I was, that's what I was saying. Only I would say two political pieces out of all of the pieces, I would say. Uh, so they didn't kind of they didn't have a real place in the mix of what the majority was. And it was mostly like, you know, heartfelt, you know, really, you know, positive things. And so they stood out as something that really didn't belong in the They're unified they were symbols yeah. of unity and they were unified. So I guess in that way that's the symbols. It had a positive uh, overtone to it. Every piece was pretty positive. And if you want to put it in the text of what you asked, I'd say that's a pretty significant statement just coming from uh, the people that entered their pieces, I mean, they didn't come from a negative place, which is good. That says something about the people. And um, it had a positive, uh, you know, reaction and results. So. Perfect. I didn't um, think about that until she said that. That's pretty good. <laughs> or conclusion, I said. But I haven't seen them. Like, I, we only got to see the drawings, so I... I I haven't seen the conclusion, but I imagine the conclusion would be better than the. Than the I I can't say I don't I didn't know any of the artists like I don't know any of them, um, but evidently I follow one of them on Snapchat because I've seen this one pinata and I still don't know the artist's name, but I've seen one of the designs you know from its earliest stages to you know it's 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 pretty close to completion it looks like. And I have to say, it's it's really impressive. I won't tell you which one it is, but I can't wait to see it in person. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> it's very strong. It's very colorful. Yeah, it's, it's strong. It's definitely um, united, for sure. Um, at least in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I would say that it's one of the top you know, two or three things that makes Houston what it is, really. It's, it's 
strong, very strong Mexican American culture, and if you're on the East End, I mean, it's it's, it's going on. It's right ever there. growing. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And it's ever adapting to its to its place and time. Yeah. Absolutely, I would say so for sure. Would you feel uh, proud of them? Absolutely. Of course, yeah. of course, yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. I'm proud of anybody that, that participated in, you know, the early stages. I mean, I can't wait to see the hard work they put into. I mean, it's a, it's a lot it's to a, commit yeah, to building it's, such, I mean, they're, these are big structures. So for an artist to commit to an idea, conceive and commit to an idea and then put all their energy and efforts into building it in such a short period of time, it's a, yeah, we're, we're impressed. I think there's a unique melding of Mexican culture with American culture. I mean, we're in the South, and we're, this was all Mexico, you know? So I think here in the South, specifically, Houston's a major stronghold for, you know, cultural diversity, but specifically, I'd say it's, I forgot what I was talking about. That's good, I agree with that. But it's all a melting pot, I mean, we all, I mean, that's, why we're all here, I and mean, we're we all brought our traits and our knowledge with us. So how do we differ from other places? Well, we haven't been everywhere for a long period of time, but I would say that we have a very unique culture um, because we're so aware of where we're from. I mean, that's very prominent in uh, my family as a, a native to this land. Uh, uh, her family uh, being, you know, different backgrounds, but everybody as a whole seems very aware and very proud of where they come from, and they understand and they're aware of what they brought to the table. table. Yeah, there's there's camps. That's the inspiring thing is that <coughs> ultimately it was a loss at Standing Rock because they laid the pipe. It's oil is now flowing oh. underneath several river crossings there. But it's inspired several different uprisings and different camps and places like Arkansas Rising. Like I, that was the one that really surprised me. I was like, wow, they're standing up in Arkansas. I mean, it's, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, that's, that's what you have to focus on. Is Making a better world. Yeah. Yeah. Some people heard their call. Um, so that's on protected land, so they're not... There was so many people going to jail, and there was so much money being wasted on getting them out, and families being terrified of what's happening. I mean, it was, so, you know, they're still doing what they're doing, but they're still fighting to stop them, and that's the way it is. You mean what what the submissions were compared to what like we would have wanted? I'm to not do a ourselves? teacher. I'm not a teacher, uh, uh -huh. so I want them to do the best job they can. And I'm not sure if it's my job as a judge to tell them what they did wrong. As my, I mean, maybe that's the, the job of a judge to tell them, you know, <laughs> it's not my job to tell them what they did wrong. But it's a lot easier to tell them what they did wrong than it is to tell them how to do it right. And I would rather just say, eh, the <laughs> this one's better as a judge. Do I want to... Take, did I see any art that wanted me to take them aside and, and mentor them? Well, all we've to, seen is drawings. To be fair, pretty rudimentary I drawings. can't judge that on a drawing. And by the drawings, I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> they are drawings, you know, and they were quick drawings. They didn't have a lot of time, so. Uh, no, I didn't see anything. If I just saw, like, an octopus, that would, you know, when you hit it, the tentacles kind of swayed around. I don't know. And maybe... And it was, a, it, you know, done in a bad way, you know, I was like, that's not going to work, but it has potential, maybe, but, you know, it's real hard to tell. That's an unfair question, because it, that's real hard to tell in a drawing, but. I would, I would say just impact, I mean, the one that, that's executed the best. I like a finished has, product. has the most impact. I like to get a, I like to get a little prize with it. You know, for the we judges, are. like somebody show no, from the artists, they show up and give you a little. Oh, I was gonna say, like, we're we're giving them their check in a pinata that we're gonna make. What? I'm not making nothing. Yeah. Uh, 
I already told Stephanie, but we're doing it. What, what, what's that again? <laughs> Nothing. Stephanie asked, she said that the day of the festival that they're going to have a little booth set up. When is kids, that? Small pinatas for the kids, like an activity for the kids. And if we were there, if we would mind doing one so that they could stick the check inside of it, that will be presented to... It's going to look like a, a lot like a cereal To box. the winner. Which is cool, because I really wanted, like, to submit our own for this. I really want to make a pinata. Maybe next year. Um, life has changed, and we used to feel very connected and very involved, and we went to all the openings, and we went, we were out a lot, and having fun, and we enjoyed, it was great, we lived downtown, the East End, a warehouse, and, and we lived the art life, now we live the art life, but it's different, because, you know, there's a little person around us all the time, and it, you know, what role do we play in the art scene here? In the art community. In the art community. Well, I mean, we are. I mean, we're just one of the. You know, we play a huge role. We're one of the. We're one of the. Uh, we've been around for uh, 15 years now, making art with the name. So we we're known as Anderson Madrano. We're known as a collaborative couple, collaborative team. I think we've inspired other collaborative teams to exist and to put that out front. You know that they are a collaborative team. There was none when we started, and now I mean, there's a good amount that are doing good work, which is it's great. That inspires us, and I just believe we have the longevity to inspire and to have made a difference in other people's decisions and over time, you know, in small ways, and and that's great. I know when I go to an art show, we've done. I mean, we've done so many art shows, but I know when I go to one single art show and they put their heart into it, I know that I come away a better artist every time. And I know that we put our hearts into everything that we do, so. And I've been told, and we've been doing it long enough for me to say that I believe that, you know, the majority of people truly enjoy the experience of two people doing something together that they know is very difficult to do alone, and two people is even more difficult to create one thought. And that inspires me, so I believe we've played that role in our community as those two that are inspired and inspire in that way. We were created with the intention of putting them on a wall and presenting them and explaining them. There were, <laughs> there were images I was creating for me in my own, my own archive of images that you know, it was my memory bank. But Patrick here <laughs> found some when we first met, and they were crumpled up, and they weren't perfect prints, so they were gonna go in the trash. Drives me crazy. And uh, and he took them without my knowing and turned it into an amazing piece of art. And so that was how it started. That's you know. And where did all was, the elements come from? That was. The one I was missing, that was the big one. Because I build, I'm a builder by nature and by a, you know, family background. So whenever I do a piece, I usually like to, especially now, our pieces are storytelling little charms that you put on the wall. So. It's really hard to do it all on one, to, to, to tell such a long story with a, a painting. Flat or medium. A, a photograph, or sometimes even a sculpture, it's kind of hard. But if you go past that, and my background is in buildings, so, um, so that's kind of like a no-brainer for me. When I saw her photographs, I was like, man, like how do I install, how do I put that inside? A, something I was already doing, which is, you know, bulky build-outs, you know, with, you know, uh, with, you know, plaster and wood and metal and light and sound and, you know, as, mu as many things that I can get into it that make sense without crowding the idea. So if you're telling a story and you have all these other elements, it's a lot easier to tell the story with, with you know, a longer, you know, more amazing story with more uh, materials. 
And that's how that part started. And so when I saw her stuff, I said, well, uh, you know, I got it. So the first piece was just me and her sculpted out with the film, little film cartridge I made that went through it. And she put all of the uh, pe uh, photographs in a, in a negative, in a film strip that ran through it. <laughs> Only an artist is going to know what I'm saying. It basically was a piece of film strip that, w that ran through our chest. So when you saw us, everything was lit up. It was beautiful. So beautiful. It was a cool piece. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you looked through the center. You saw like all the photographs that we had taken, that she had taken while we were together that, sh that little short period of time. In my hometown and her hometown, it was amazing. It was like, you know, our falling in love, big. but film form. To the point where we make film, and I think that's what this is really all about. Like her cinematic eye is amazing. Like when she shoots something, it looks you can tell the difference when she shoots something in film or in uh, video. You can just tell that she's behind the camera. Like wow, that shot's really good. Like the way the color came in and this. And I was like wow, I don't know how you did it. But, and he's um, amazing at building characters and, and building. Sets and I can build, build anything. So um, we've done some animation sets. stuff and, it, and it's had great success. And we really haven't put much energy into it because it's very expensive and it's very time consuming. And Uh, yes, I would hope so, yeah. I don't know, you know, I look around when I'm at uh, parties, and I see my friends, and I see couples, our friends and couples, and I can't think of one, I could be wrong, but I can't think of one that is not a mixed race uh, marriage, mm -hmm. resulting in one or two, sometimes three, uh, mixed children. So when our children get together, it's an extremely beautiful palette. Extremely beautiful, yeah. And that doesn't happen at every party that you go to, I don't know. I mean, I've been to parties that are one way or the other. And <laughs> this one is a very colorful, very beautiful, very American, and still holding on their, to their own c cultures at the same time. It's, it's, it's amazing. I think diversity is our, our greatest Guitar. American asset. Not everyone embraces it, but I think those who do are way better off. I think the core, if, well, a certain side of the core embraced it to the point where it lives and it's strong and it grows and it's growing and it's ever growing. And, but I think love is a more powerful thing because I don't think that you can stop a man from loving a woman or a woman from loving a man or whatever the situation and in a place where we're all together. You know, it's impossible. You're beautiful. I fucking love you. Chances of you coming from my country are very rare in America. And, and unless you try, unless you work on dividing yourself, um, your chances are you'll fall in love at some point with somebody that may not look like you. And it's beautiful. It's awesome. It's amazing. I encourage it. I encourage it either way. I encourage love. I think love is a good thing. So it's it's ever grown in every direction instead of just like, you know, one way or the other. Well, I just found out what that means. But Absolutely. after reading your definition of it, I would say that we definitely fit into that category because it's, it's the bringing together of two cultures and uh, it's, it's the melding of so many different things, but the same. So I, I'd say absolutely. Absolutely. Great. So now, can you guys just sign for me? The what is that? Go fuck. Hello, is it hello hybridism? Yeah. What? Okay. It, I just didn't know if there was a if there was an ism at the end. Uh, or yeah. Holo Hybrid. How does this name Holo Hybrid is Anderson and Medrano, right? Mm -hmm. How did you come up with this name? Peyote. Peyote? Oh. Yeah? Yeah, Mother, ma Mother Earth. What do I do? Nice. Do I you sign uh, that you are now part of the Holo Hybridism. And so how did the name come? 
with the medicine. I mean, with it, the peyote. I is, connect with Pachamama. <laughs> Coronel, Coronel Anderson and Coronel Madrano. Now you guys are going to be uh, the uh, represent, represent, representation of the Ohio Hybrid District in Houston. Uh, I'm still going to try to find more, but so far there's still, I mean, there's just, I mean, counting you, there's three people right now. Better lassos and you guys.